Hello everyone, my name is Niyati Das. Today we will discuss about methods of DNA extraction. In my last video, we are discussing about the DNA extraction and we, today we will learn about the what are the post methods in which we can extract the DNA. There are basically two types of DNA extraction method, chemical DNA extraction method and physical DNA extraction method. Chemical DNA extraction method also involves the organic DNA extraction and also inorganic DNA extraction. Organic DNA extraction involves phenyl chloroform DNA extraction and inorganic DNA extraction involves the proteinase K DNA extraction method, salting out method, silica gel DNA extraction method. Physical DNA extraction method includes magnetic bead DNA extraction paper DNA extraction method. Alcohol blessed liquid liquid DNA purification method. Phenol chloroform and isomyl alcohol PCI. These are the three main ingredients which is used in this liquid liquid DNA extraction and purification. So, it is also known as PCI system of DNA purification. The liquid liquid DNA extraction and purification method separates DNA molecule on the basis of their solubility in solutions and this is the basic principle of phenyl chloroform DNA extraction method. DNA is insoluble in phenol because the phenol is non-polar solution. Proteins are both polar and non-polar groups. Chloroform increases the efficiency of phenol for denaturation of the protein. Isoamyl alcohol will increase the purity of DNA by reducing foam of proteins. Here this is the steps of DNA purification. There are totally 8 steps of DNA purification. If we are taking 500 microliter of sample, we will add uh, 1 ml of cell lysis buffer according to the 500 microliter of sample we will add the double of cell lysis buffer and after that we will centrifuge at 3000 rpm for 2 minutes and we will get the 300 microliter of nucleic lysis buffer we will add incubate in it under 2 minutes in room temperature uh, after that we will uh, we will do 100 microliter of saturated NaCl with 600 microliter of chloroform mix this gently centrifuge at 6000 rpm for 2 minutes transfer 300 to 500 according to the supernatant will come we will transfer it in a new micro centrifuge tube 1.5 ml add 600 microliter of chilled isopropanol this step is very very important at this step we can see the pellets and the isopropanol should be pre-chilled so we will keep it at minus 20 before 15 to 20 minutes of this procedure after that we will centrifuge at 6000 rpm for 2 minutes discard the supernatant and dry at room temperature and add 550 to 100 microliter of nucleus free water but i will suggest you please check the pellet size first then you will add 10 to 20 microliter of nw water briefly centrifuge but you can tap it properly by your hand and store it in minus 20 centrifuge breaking the dna so you can tap it so slowly tapping can also mixing the solution then we will measure it, measurement the purity of DNA concentration. The DNA concentration is measured by UV observance spectrophotometry at 280 nm. Here 1, 1 1.0 means 260 nm equal to 1.0 means per ml 50 nanogram concentration if the observance is 1. 260 by 280 ratio equal to 1.8 that is the sample is pure DNA if the 260 by 280 
is less than 1.8 the contamination with protein or phenol and here uh, the instrument in nanodrop where we can check the concentration or purity of dna as well as rna and also protein and the here i am showing you the uh, tube that containing the dna according to the concentration or the quality of the dna here i am seeing that there is some thick dna so i can add up to 100 to 200 microliter of uh, nfw then coming to our next purification method silica gel observation method of dna extraction nucleic acid within the crude lysate are bound to a silica surface the silica surface is washed with a solution that keeps nucleic acid bound but removes all other substances the silica surface is washed with a solution unfavorable to nucleic acid binding the solution containing purified dna and is recovered here this is the dna crude dna crude lysis after that we will uh, transfer the dna crude lysis to the silica surface after transferring the silica gel surface the crude lysis what we are doing here the nucleic acid bind to the membrane and while contaminate pass through the uh, column due to the low pH and high ionic strength. In the next step what we are doing? In the next step we wash away the uh, residual contaminants in the washing buffer and here the wash buffer uh, and near, below is the nucleic acid. After centrifugation we this is the binding buffer here the DNA is there is the wash through product or the um, contaminant is washing away. In the fourth step what we are doing we are eluting the nucleic acid. Here this is the elution buffer after centrifugation the nucleic acid is separated because the elution buffer composition is unfavorable to the surface binding due to the high pH and low ionic strength. This is all about the silica gel observation method of DNA extraction. Then come to our third procedure protein HK DNA extraction method. Protein HK DNA extraction method it is not use of any organic reagent like phenol chloroform. Digested protein are removed by salting out with high concentration of lithium chloride. However, if salt are not adequately removed, problems could occur at the time of RFLP procedure due to the alternation of DNA mobility. If the DNA is binding with the protein, then the molecular weight should be high. So the band shifting option can be favored. So we cannot measure our DNA. Then what are the composition and what is the reagents are required for this procedure? Cell lysis buffer, protein lysis buffer and precipitation of protein. Cell lysis buffer lysis cell membrane, nuclei, are intact pellet nuclei. Protein lysis buffer resuspend the nuclei in protein. Lysis buffer contain, containing a high concentration of protein HK. Lysis nuclear membrane and digest protein at 65 degrees centigrade for 2 hours. Temperature helps denature proteins and protein HK auto digest itself. Precipitation of proteins. To remove the proteinaceous material, lithium chloride is added to a final concentration of 2.5 molar and incubated in ice protein, precipitated out and are filleted by centrifugation. Transfer of supernatant to a new tube. DNA remains in the solution. Transfer the supernatant to a fresh tube. K and must taken out not to take any protein fillet. Precipitation of DNA. DNA is precipitated by the addition of isopropanol at room temperature. Lithium chloride will not precipitate with DNA. Resuspension with precipitated DNA in T buffer. Precipitated DNA is washed with 70% ethanol dried under vacuum and resuspended in T buffer. 
what are the reagents are used in this all procedure trace SCL, EDTA, NACL, STS, protein SK, lithium chloride, ethanol and T buffer what their role. Trace SCL maintain the pH of the solution EDTA, ethidium bromide inhibit the DNA enzyme. NACL prevent denaturation of DNA, STS break the cell envelopes and denature protein. Protein HK digest protein and remove contamination from preparation of nucleic acid. Lithium chloride precipitate denatured protein. Ethanol precipitate DNA. T buffer solubilize the DNA or protein RNA while protecting it from the degradation. This is all about our DNA purification methods. Thanks for watching and thanks for learning. Thank you guys.